Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm here today to tell you about setting up your new Google Analytics 4 property with gtag.js using the new upgrade wizard in Google Analytics. With that, let's go ahead and switch on over to the slides and we'll take a look. So we'll get started in your Universal Analytics view to upgrade to GA4. You can find the upgrade to GA4 button within your admin console under the property column. Once you're there, you'll see something like the screenshot on the right. You can get started with Google Analytics 4 by auto-creating a new property using the wizard. So we'll click that Get Started button under I need to create a new Google Analytics 4 property. Once you do that, you'll see a pop-up box to get started with the wizard. With just a few clicks, you can create a Google Analytics 4 property. You can enable your web stream based on your current Universal Analytics property. You can activate enhanced measurement, and you can enable data collection using connected site tags. Data collection will use your current gtag.js tagging and connected site tags to be able to collect data for your GA4 property. A quick note that data collection using connected site tags will only be used if you have 100% of your page URLs tagged with gtag.js. Even if you don't though, you can still use the wizard without data collection and tag your site later. Once you go through the wizard, you'll have created your new GA4 view and you'll be in the setup assistant pane like you see on the right. This will appear in the admin section under the property column. And a quick note that this will actually appear whether you've just created your new GA4 property through the wizard or if you already had a GA4 property. And this allows you to further customize your GA4 property and share settings from your Universal Analytics property. Some of the sections you can see here are collection settings, property settings, linking, audiences, conversions, and user management. And what makes this so powerful, again, is that it's actually gonna pull from some of the settings that you have in your Universal Analytics property so that you don't have to reset those things to have a very similar view in your new GA4 property. So as you can see, there's a lot here with this new setup wizard, but it really only takes a couple of clicks to get going using gtag.js.